Hey guys, it's Matt with Conservative Trades, and uh, man, wow, big day in the markets today for your boy. Up $835.79. During the live stream today, I had actually quit trading when I was up, I think I was up like 720 something, but I really, really wanted to post a video up in the 800s. I just, I had it in my mind today. I'm so close. I'm so close. And, and I reached, I reached $726 fairly quickly. I was probably there by like, I, I can't remember if it, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, maybe um, the live stream went a little past that time. I think the live stream went maybe till 1130 ish or something like that. But yeah, I was um I was up pretty quickly and I thought to myself, you know, I had a I came back later basically. I came back later and I said I had to I had to try to push for something here. And so I did. And again, was able to end the day up $835.79. Now, ending the day up a little over 800 after fees and commissions. Actually, maybe maybe even a little under 800 because I did borrow some shares for shorting today, so I don't know, but I'm I'm hitting pretty close to 800 after fees, commissions, and and, and everything today. So I'll I'll go ahead and just kind of get up on this here. Uh, we started the day. Well, I can't remember where I actually started the day, but let me clear this chart out a little bit just so you can see what was going on here. So there, I'm not going to go through every single one of these trades. You can see I did a I did a lot of scalping, a lot of scalping. It had gapped up this morning, and it had kind of triple topped almost. I, I kind of saw this as, as, a, as a minor little triple top and I knew that there was an opportunity for it to break out past these highs. But I went ahead and just took 200 shares here. I felt good about it. I wanted to watch it out the gates because I knew that w there, there was a major chance for a, a good dump on this today. So the, 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 the bell opens up and I start getting out. You know, I had taken out some of the shares here, some of the shares here, and then I got out the rest here and then the rest here. Then it came up tested this, got slammed down, um, or excuse me, I think, I guess it opened up down here. Wait, nope, opened up up here. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Came down, then came back up, poked over VWAP, but it looked weak. This was weak volume. So I went short here, took profit, 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 profit all the way down here. And I guess I'm, I'm guessing I took some more profit here, then went short, 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 averaged in, took profit, took profit, shorted again to average back back on and took profit, profit, profit. I shorted here, averaged in here, probably took profit there and then took profit there for fear that it might break over the VWAP. But then as it started curling over, I noticed that that's I think I think that's around the time you you can go back and check the live stream. But I think this is about the time where I noticed there might be a trend line that's being respected here. So I drew this trend line and I went ahead and went short here. Uh, I might have taken a little shares off here just because I got nervous, but I probably went short and we, we could check the, the list down here. But I know I was shorting. There, there were some trades that I was taking on MRNA today where I was taking about 200 shares. So I imagine I might have taken 200 there and then maybe took 50 off here or something. I must have seen something there that, that made me a little nervous. But it came up. It respected the trend line. It did pop up, but it closed back over it. And so that that gave me a lot of confidence that this stock was going to continue to make a strong move down and then look it went from 32.29 all the way down to 30.06 uh, uh, more than a two dollar move and i actually took uh or i actually added back in down there and i think it halted if i if i'm remembering correctly i'm pretty sure it halted but uh, i got in here and i took off i covered here and i covered here and i'm guessing that's the rest of it but guys this was the best trade of the day for me this was this was $700. $700.24 is what I made off of MRNA today. And again, I tell I tell you guys, I was telling people again here in the live stream today, it doesn't take much. Look, the, the, the most that you'll see that I, the, the biggest size you'll see I took today was 300 shares. And that was on AHPI. And unfortunately, I lost out on that one. I lost $131 on that one. But I wanted to take a stab at it. It was, it was a similar thing. As a matter of fact, I'll pull it up, AHPI. And oh, wow, it's it's really made a huge move. So this, this goes to show you, like, don't play with the market. Get out. Get out. If it looks like it's moving against you, get out. Because I, I went short way down here at $5.60. But anyway, you can see here, the, these green little dots, this is where I got out. This is where I got out. I, I wanted to see an immediate slam back down to, I think I was looking at the $5 levels. And it didn't go, so I immediately got out. And I'm glad I did, because look at this. It popped up and shot all the way up here to $7.78. I mean, that's like a $2 move almost instantly. 
came back down, but wow, I have not seen, I've not looked at this stock all day, but look at this, guys, this just goes to show you when you're shorting, don't play, don't play. If it looks like it's going against you, get out because you can lose a lot of money. I was in here at $5, $5.60, my goodness, and it's all the way up. It hit a high of $16.91. That's ridiculous. No, look at this daily chart. It hit a high of $17.95. Goodness gracious. So anyway, well, there's that, and it's apparently halted right now. So I'm not even going to mess with it, guys. But but yeah, if you see, th that's the most that I took today. That's the most that I took today. And, and at any one given time was 300 shares. It doesn't take much. Moving over here to uh, CODX, I was doing the same thing here today. I was shorting this. I had barred some shares to short. As you can see, I got in here. I, uh, I noticed that there was a, a trend line that was being respected. So I got in here with the antici anticipation of it coming up and, and testing that trend line. And I might have added two if, as long as it didn't break and, and close over that trend line. But it, it just moved down and I got out here, got out here, averaged back in here, held for the pullback and got out shares here. And then, and this one got halted too. I think that's why I held through this because I think I actually at this time had about a 518 average. I want to say that number is kind of standing out to me for some reason, but so it, it went a little against me on, on the average that I had, but I, I just figured, you know, th th this stock was weak. It was dumping. It was very clear that it was dumping. And of course it continued to move down, took profit there. And as you can see today, I've done a little bit more scalping on it, but up $164.63. If you look here on CODX, again, look, uh, 100, bought 50, bought 25, sold short 25, bought 50, sold short 50, bought it back you know, sold short at 1625, bought it at 1585. I mean, I was just scalping all day long, all day long, but very small share, share size. Let me see here if there's anything really worth going back over. WB, this actually at one point was a really nice trade. This was going really good in my favor. As you can see, this was a trade that uh, completely wrecked me yesterday, and I had to kind of build myself or dig myself out of the red on this one yesterday. Um, if you go back to yesterday's video, you'll see that at one point I was down like five or 600 bucks on this stock. I mean, this stock just, I mean, I got squeezed out. I got squeezed out, but I, I scaled out a little out of my position. I held on to some shares, and then I added back in. And as it worked its way back down, I was able to dig myself almost out of that hole. I think I ended down 143 on this stock yesterday. I actually ended in the green yesterday up 150 some dollars, but this stock right here, I had reduced from roughly 500 and some dollar loser all the way down to only $143 loser. But today I thought we're going to finally get it. The spy is weak. Everything's getting wrecked. And I thought all we got to do is push down through 39.83 and we could make a solid three, four, five dollar move even. And so I went ahead here, got in in anticipation of that. And I think I only took, yep, 100 shares short right here and I put a stop over 4150 because that's where all these levels were right here pre-market levels I went ahead and just put in my my stop right there at 4150 well as you can see it moved against me but it never got quite there it went all the way up to 4133 but then turned over and went down and right here as it started to crack $40 I thought this has got to be it I'm going to go ahead and average back in and look it even cracked 3983 but then started squeezing back up. And I'm glad I got out here because look how far back this went against me. But even with that, I still made a $42.58 profit. So not bad. Guys, you just, if you're wrong, you have to, you have to admit that you're wrong and just get out, get out. I mean, yeah, I was up, I don't know, maybe a hundred and 20, 130, maybe even 150. I really don't remember. I was, I was up pretty good on the stock at one point, but it started going against me and I thought to myself, well, hey, I'm going to take I'm going to take the 40 bucks for my troubles here, okay? Because uh, I had no clue what this was going to do. Now, it's got an incredibly high short interest. And I, th I think I kept calling it short float interest yesterday. So pardon me if I was doing that. But it is a, it is a lower float stock. For some reason, the gap scanner was telling me it was like an 186 million share float. But when I checked Finviz, it was only showing that it was 17 million share float. So I think that's why this is so easily manipulated. You know, you got a high short interest and it's a low float. So that can be manipulated a little more easily. But anyway, guys, Tesla was another trade I took. I'll, I'll go over this just briefly. Uh, I had drawn this trend line and I went ahead and went short here. The SPY was looking pretty weak. It broke over VWAP, but closed. It couldn't maintain above it. And as soon as it cracked through this trend line, I started taking profit, taking profit. Only took 10 shares, took five off here, five off here. And then over here, I saw that um, it, it, had come back down under VWAP, got rejected by VWAP, and as a matter of fact, it was riding the nine moving average. So I went ahead and got short for the break of these two candles here, and of course it popped back, went against me, but it never broke the nine EMA, and so it came down. I took profit here, and I took profit here. So on on just shorting ten shares twice on Tesla, I made eighty bucks. So guys, again, it does not take much. It just it doesn't take much. And so um, anyway, I, I'm really I'm really wanting to push this strategy. I'm really wanting to 
be a voice of reason in the space and help people understand that, you know, you can come into the markets daily and you can do pretty good. Yeah, sure. I'm not making, you know, thousands of dollars, like maybe some of your favorite day tra trading gurus out there, but look, I'm not trying to be a guru, but um, one guy was even asking me in the chat today, you know, or we were talking about the growth of the channel. And, you know, honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't care to, I don't care for it to explode. I don't care for, I mean, if it does fine, but if it remains a small community and just, and just, there, even if there's just a, a handful of people that come to this channel and are able to benefit from it and really, really develop a, a, a much better trading strategy on their end, um, even if I just help a couple people, I, I, I think I would think that that's great. OK, so but, you know, here, here's here's the thing is you're seeing the profits that I made this week. You know, I had, you know, $400 day, $500 day. I think yesterday was $150 day, you know, or maybe I had, I think I had a $700 day this week. I, I, now I've had an over an $800 day this week and I'm just trading small share size. And when you trade trade small share size, you know, this is this is one of the biggest points about it. it you, you allow stocks room to breathe. You allow them to move against you. Okay, it, it, it just, it's easier. It's easier when you, you know, and, and of course everybody says don't trade your PNL, but look, let's be real. Everybody knows what their PNL is, okay? <laughs> so even if you're not looking at your PNL, you know what your PNL is. And it, it's much easier to think in your mind, okay, I'm only really down a hundred dollars right now. I, I can hold through this. I really believe in this trade idea. I want to see if it works out. It's one thing to be down a hundred dollars and say that, but it's another thing to be down like a thousand dollars and you're like, oh, well, I, well, I think, I think it's going to work. I, I'm, I was pretty sure when I took the trade, but uh, oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can hold on. I don't know if I, and, and you end up taking the loss, you know, and then it, and then it ends up going in your favor. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you don't, you don't profit thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, we're, I don't know if you're ever going to come in here and, and see that I've had a five, ten thousand dollar winning day. But you know what? If I can come into the markets steadily, consistently, make three, four, five hundred bucks, maybe seven, eight hundred bucks, and sure, maybe even a thousand, you know, fifteen hundred here and there. I mean, if I can do that pretty consistently, I, I'm going to feel like I'm doing well, okay? And hopefully, it can be an inspiration to some other people out there who are really wanting to take a reasonable, rational approach to day trading, and uh, just just know that it's possible. Just know that it's possible. So um, anyway, guys, I, I hope you've had a good day as well, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.